Hey guys, how you doing? This is your boy Rich from Rich TV Live, and you too can join the club at richpicksdaily.com where you can learn how to win and trade. Hi, how's everybody doing today? I'm your host, Rich, and we have Rich TV Live with our very special guest, Alec Otto, the head of marketing for NFT.com. Really excited to have you on the show today, Alec. How are you doing today? Thanks so much, man. I'm doing great. How are you? I'm doing fantastic. I was really excited to do this interview because I've been really excited about NFTs for quite some time. I've been working on a few NFT projects. I just started acquiring my first few NFTs. And then today I heard I was going to be interviewing you from NFT.com. And I just think it's a brilliant name. So maybe we can just start with my first question is, what is (laughs) NFT.com? Why don't we start with yeah, that? Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, so uh, at NFT.com at its core is, uh, is, is being built to be a community-centric and a community-driven uh, NFT platform. Um, we wow. really want to be uh, big supporters of creators, collectors, builders, and all of the individual people that make Web3 and NFTs great and, and special and unique and artistic and beautiful, really. Um, And uh, the way we're planning to do that is through kind of three feature sets. Um, The first of which is profile galleries. This is something that you own, NFT profile that you own. So nft.com forward slash rich or forward slash Alec. Um, And this is fully customizable. We're trying to overhaul and uh, the entire user experience of NFTs. Um, You know, we, when we look at like OpenSea and things like that right now, um, your, your NFTs that you own are kind of a jumbled mess. And uh, it's just a, you know, for something you're going to spend between a hundred and a hundred thousand dollars on, you know, it deserves a little bit more um, uh, shine and polish than that. Um, and we plan to do that through a lot of personalization and customization of the the user experience. There, um, the next big feature set, of course, is analytics. Uh, there's amazing analytics platforms out there, but uh, they're just not baked into to a, a site itself, which leads me into our neck our last feature set, which is a marketplace. Um, so we are basically the creator-driven marketplace uh, for the future. I love it. Now, let me ask you a question. So we have a website we just launched, which is a community and ecosystem of investors for investors, where we talk about stocks, cryptocurrencies, NFTs. Would we be able to find a way to integrate your, integrate your NFT marketplace on our website? Is that something we could do? Or I would definitely... Team? Yeah, I, I would I would have to kind of know more about how how the the ecosystem and and, and the website works, but um, ultimately, you know, we uh, we aim to be a, a, a platform that 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 takes a lot of community feedback and kind of is uh, stewards or, or or servants of the Web three space. Um, we we when we when we were kind of ideating a lot of what NFT.com would become, we realized very quickly this is way too pivotal of a domain in the space to be run and controlled by you know a couple people, um, you know. If to be quite frank, the world doesn't need another, uh, you know, small crew of, uh, you know, 30 something year old people just governing the internet. Um, ultimately we want to put the, these decisions in the hands of the community and then build what the community needs. I love it. And how did you come up with the concept of NFT.com? Yeah. Um, well, when we first acquired the domain first, that was kind of the first thing. Our, our co-founder is, uh, he's kind of obsessed with NFT, uh, with not, not just NFTs, but domains themselves. He's been buying them since he was little. Um, wow. And uh, the parent company of NFT.com, Immutable Holdings, actually owns a few other really interesting ones too, like 1-800-BITCOIN, as well as um, uh, CBDC, which is Central Bank Digital Currency.com. Um, and, uh, when they picked up nft.com, that's what kind of lured me to come onto the project. And, uh, we realized very quickly that, um, it wasn't enough to, um, just kind of have another NFT platform or marketplace like there is in existence. Now we, we, we have to, we have to provide value here and, 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 uh, look to, to fill the pain points, um, and kind of gaps in the industry. And we saw that in a couple different places. Um, one of course being, you know, how you show off and how you display your digital items, um, two being kind of the, the groundworks for almost a web three social experience as we saw a little bit of kind of the, the, the roots of in things like BitClout when that was popping off over the last year. Um, and then three, you know, really baking in uh, an analytics and trading experience into uh, a marketplace. 
Do you guys see yourselves or is it one of your goals to take over OpenSea, which I currently have an account and I'm currently creating NFTs. I'm not selling yet. But I'm creating NFTs and I'm building a portfolio of NFTs on OpenSea right now because it's the biggest. So yeah. do you guys plan to compete or is your plan to become bigger than OpenSea.io? So, you know, I, I, I want to give credit where credit's due. Um, OpenSea is made up of millions of lines of code and is an incredible platform uh, built by some, some amazing people. And they have put absolute blood, sweat and tears into making that platform what it is. Um, with that said, though, uh, there there's definitely you know room room in this space for more, and um, ultimately we we do kind of hope to become the the main hub for everything NFTs. Um, so to that end, yes, there's a, a little bit of a friendly competition there, but uh, you know co competition breeds innovation, and uh, we're we're all builders and innovators here, so we're really trying to uh, see what kind of value we can bring. Now, Alec. I'm a huge sports fan. Okay. Like you can see, I got a Dallas Cowboys uh, yeah. signed Jersey from Michael Irvin hall of famer, three time Super Bowl champion, like I'm a huge sports fan. And I just see NFTs being huge for sports. So do you plan on letting any sports franchises sell NFTs on your platform? And especially if they include the word NFT in the name. Yeah. So it, it's actually kind of one of my favorite parts about uh, what we're building here, right? Is a, a big part of NFT.com is the profile experience. It's the NFT.com forward slash, you know, uh, NBA or, uh, yes. you know, or, or you could even have something as generic as, as NFT.com forward slash baseball. Um, there. Uh, that's kind of the initial groundwork that 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 we're building right now. Um, where that goes and the actual functionality of that, um, I can speak speculatively to, um, and and say that like there are so many different ways that 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 different um, you know franchises and companies and brands can get involved to kind of you know begin having a bit more of a digital presence. Ultimately, our lives are becoming kind of a bit you know twofold, right? There's kind of this digital experience of who you are uh, online and, and who you are in real life. And um, the more that we can enable um, and, and provide a kind of marquee uh, profile names for brands to get involved and then have a really good experience and also to help guide them through that experience and educate them throughout the process so that um, their NFTs that they drop aren't like tone deaf because that, that definitely happens, you know? Like there, there's a lot of brands clamoring to get in into the NFT space. And uh, it's the, the web three space is pretty sensitive to things that, you know, kind of uh, are, are just trying to be NFTs or trying to be uh, web three. So the more that we can educate and to, and work with brands at the same time, the better off we'll be. But uh, one of the cool things about making the NFT collection that we're dropping soon is that uh, we have a lot of it. We've gotten a pretty amazing experience in uh, building NFT collections. So uh, we're really open to talking to brands. If, if they want to drop a collection on our platform, um, come hit us up. Uh, we're happy to work with you. We've got everything you need to put it together. So, so when I found out I was going to be doing this interview today, I went on to nft.com. I joined your whitelist. I signed up. And it was a really Great. simple process. Is there anything you want to talk about as far as your whitelist? Yeah. Um, so, you know, I've been talking about these profiles and, and such, right? So you got to understand like how to, how to get them. Um, and uh, so we are, we have put together a collection of 10,000 NFTs um, kind of is as both an ode to the NFT space that's come before it um, as well as um, recognizing that with any social network or network of any kind, your first hundred, your first thousand, your first 10,000 users bring far more value and are absolutely essential to the growth of a network than user 10 million and one, 10 million and two. So those users, um, will be the, the the future holders of what we're calling the Genesis keys. Um, these are fully animated artistic NFT keys, which you'll see on our website. Um, and if you own one, you will be a founding member of the community. And you will also be able to mint uh, two NFT.com profiles each. Um, wow. And this will be the, the first 20,000 profiles will be in the hands of the first 10,000 users of the project. Uh, one for you and one for a friend or just both for you. Um, as we move on uh, throughout this process, we're going to slowly open up those gates to be able to invite friends in to give them profiles and uh, taking a little bit of the Gmail approach there of kind of how they opened it up in their early days. Um, 
but uh, it's actually uh, think things are things are coming up pretty quick though. Um, so next week uh, on April 26th at 7 p.m., the blind auction is going to start, and uh, 3,000 Genesis keys are going to be up for grabs in an auction. Um, wow. This auction is a uh, is blind, so you won't be able to see other people's bids. Um, you just kind of bid what you think a Genesis key is worth or what you're willing to pay for it. The nice part is though is that all winners will pay the 3,000 in first bid. So they're all going to pay the exact same price. And, uh, and, and so your bid will always, what you pay will always be lower or equal to your bid. Um, and that's going to be the lowest uh, mint price that's available uh, because then the public sale will happen a week later and uh, the remaining Genesis keys will be sold at a, a, a higher price. Chances are the price will go higher after that. This is a very yeah. good likelihood. The public sale is dic- uh, price is dictated by the median price of the top 3,000 bids. So uh, definitely get on that white list. Definitely you know, participate in the blind auction for the best shot at getting a, a Genesis key. Alec, what is your role and what, is, what are your duties with the company? Uh, I do. So I do more than I probably should. Um, but uh, I, uh, I, I was brought on initially um, to kind of uh, just to help out with marketing things. Uh, I kind of live for the early days of companies and startups. I like when things are a mess because then I get to come in and help like build out structures and put things together. Um, uh, I uh, was again, brought in to mainly just kind of help the launch. But over time, what I noticed was there, there was a lot of other things that need to be done. So I spent a, about a month or two building the entire Genesis key collection with um, an amazing, amazing 3D art studio out of Poland. Um, that was an amazing journey. Um, I've been helping on you know, the, the security and, and, and fraud side, which is something that we have a, a really keen eye on because this space uh, has, some, has some really glaring issues around copyright infringement. Um, and uh, it's something that we're uh, pretty concerned about right now. Um, I have helped to build out the structure for, um, you know, what the Genesis keys are and, and, and an idea and also how they're going to function. Um, and, uh, now I'm leading all of the marketing efforts here and chatting with amazing people like you and just trying to get the word out. So- My last question is if there was one thing you would want potential investors, potential NFT holders, potential NFT and crypto enthusiasts to know about NFT.com today, what would it be? We are building and crafting your Web3 home base. Um, NFT.com forward slash you or forward slash whatever you want it to be is uh, your marquee home in Web3. This is not only, it, it's fully customizable to be um, whatever su- suits your needs. If you're a metaverse real estate salesman, you're going to want to show things off in a different way than someone who's an art collector or an avatar clothing designer. Um, so we, we invite you to come and make a home at uh, NFT.com. Fantastic. Thank you so much for your time today. I Thank must you. remind everyone that Rich TV Live is strictly for information and education purposes. Please do your due diligence, do your research before you invest in anything that we talk about or discuss here on Rich TV Live. In saying that, we love identifying undervalued, underappreciated, underexposed early stage opportunities. This falls in that category. NFT.com whitelist literally being launched in days. If you like the video, please smash the like button, comment down below, share the video everywhere and subscribe. If you're not winning, you're probably not watching. We bring in the winners and we bring them to you first. Thank you for watching everybody. And thank you for joining us today. The head of marketing for NFT.com, Alec Otto. Thank you for joining us today, Alec. Thank you, Rich. Appreciate it. Have a wonderful day. a pleasure, my friend. Congratulations on all your good work so far. And we'll be watching you very closely. I've got my MetaMask. I joined the whitelist. I'm very excited to be a part of this. So I'll keep you guys updated on my progress with NFT.com as well. Thank you for watching, everybody. Have a great day.